We've also been joined, uh, Chuck and folks, by Alex Sternberg, who's a 25-year-old Orthodox rabbi, of all things, who started learning the martial arts 13 years ago to protect him from bullies in his uh, rough, tough Brooklyn neighborhood. So, Alex, welcome to you, too. Thank now, you. What's a nice rabbi like you doing in a costume like that? <laughs> I must say that um, when I started training in karate, I, of course, wasn't a rabbi at the time. I was going to a yeshiva, a rabbinical academy in the Williamsburg section of Brooklyn. Where I lived and, for five years, too, so I know well, that. I don't have to tell you, it's relatively a rough neighborhood. And the kids coming out of the school and going back to the school used to get picked on on quite a few occasions. And there was absolutely no physical fitness program provided. So I started going down to the local Y and a Korean instructor came down to the Y to offer his services as an instructor and that to be very interesting. And that was about 13 years ago, around 1962. And since that time, I got very into the martial arts in general. And at the urging of one of my instructors, I got back into the Brooklyn communities. And since then, I've been teaching predominantly Jewish youngsters, predominantly yeshiva kids who have no physical fitness. And generally, they have the image of um, Patsy type kids who, you know, you can pick on them because they don't know how to fight. So, uh, toward that end, I started an organization a little while ago called the Jewish Karate Union, which provides instructors in Jewish neighborhoods and generally uh, offers its services by way of introducing karate into the community at large. What degree of competency are you now? I'm um, fourth degree black belt. And Chuck, what are you? I'm a fifth degree. Well, it should be a close contest. I understand you have a little uh, demonstration to give us, but you don't make contact. No, when you do fight scenes, naturally, if we make contact, we wouldn't have a partner very long. <laughs> so, uh, you know, if you notice from camera angles, if, uh, if they always shoot from an angle where you cannot see the depth of the kick or the punch. Again, that's, so that way it looks like the contact is made. Of course, sometimes we'll make light contact, you know, to the body or whatever, but, but most of the time it's always, especially to the head, we always pull it. So we, you know, so we can put the makeup on instead of the real stuff. <laughs> okay, pull, pull your kicks, okay. but give us a little bit of the act here. All right, here we are. Chuck Norris and Alex Sternberg are going to show us some of their, uh, some of their stuff here. <clears throat> Now, Alex, you have another demonstration to show us. So. Now, that demonstration was pretty violent, but I understand that the martial arts are also concentration and mental discipline. So if you want to tell me what your crazy friend over there is about to do. <laughs> well, actually, most people relate to the martial arts as strictly a physical application. But actually, more important than the physical application is the mental conditioning that you develop, you know, which, which increases your concentration span. What Alex is going to do is he's going to lay suspended between two uh, chairs or whatever boards there with his head and his feet only supporting his body. Then I'm going to put two concrete slabs on his chest, and then I'm going to break him with a sledgehammer. You're going to have two f flaming concrete slabs right. on his chest. And you're and going to light the flames. I'm gonna, <laughs> so I'm going to be an accessory before right. the fact here. And then you're going to break him with a sledgehammer on his chest, balanced just with his head and his feet. Right. All right, well. well. Quiet. <laughs> okay, Alex. Uh, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it up here. All right, I'll get, I'll get this far. Ready? Okay. Oh. Okay. Let me just give this a quick squirt here. A few flames coming up. Let me get this. Third All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now he's, he's just supported, as you can see, I hope. All right, now I'm about to light this stuff. Ready with the hammer. All right, wait a second. My matches don't work here. <laughs> okay, Chuck, you want to squirt this thing? Okay. This all right. Give me a favor. Let's go. All right. Here it comes. Cinder block. Here it is. Ah! 
He did it. Like it, like it. Pressure. Felt like I was gonna get burnt to death because some of the kerosene was spilling over on my chest. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, that was the first time I've done that myself. I didn't, you know, I had never done that as far as hitting with the sledgehammer, so I didn't know what to do either. <sighs> well, so I was as green as you were. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty green right now. I want to thank you both for coming on. You know, that was pretty, uh, well, <laughs> don't do too much of that in Brooklyn, yeah? <laughs> you know, one thing I'd like to say is the final tribute to Bruce is that uh, some Puerto Rican people put together a documentary on the martial arts. Bruce has always said that he would like the people in America to really get the true concept of the martial arts because, again, they think of it strictly as blood and guts and fighting. And some uh, men in Puerto Rico put together a film to show the authenticity of the martial arts. Uh, Alex Sternberg and myself are in the film, plus many, many of the top martial arts all over the world are in this movie here. And I think for the first time in the United States when this film is released, people will really see the martial arts in its true form. Okay. And this is a tribute to Bruce. Okay, well, we look forward to it. Thank you, Thank Chuck you. Norris, for coming on. Thank Alex you. Sternberg, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, these guys, were, uh, these guys were pretty good, but the real fight of the century is coming up Right after these words. All right. Chuck and Alex. Everybody thank you. was